Day three of our Winchester city break. We started our day at the city mill owned by the National Trust. This water mill was built sometime in the 1700s and is still milling flour to this day. Now, is it just me or is there something beautiful about this old technology that works with the renewable forces of nature instead of against it? Plus, the craftsmanship and knowledge it takes to build, repair and maintain this mill is something I respect hugely. I imagine that being able to have and use these skills as a way of life is a point of love and pride. On the day that we visited the mill, it was being cleaned and maintained, which was so fascinating to stand by and watch. Normally, when the mill isn't being maintained, you get to witness the milling in action with the flour it produced being sold in the city mill shop. I'd like to head back in the future so I can purchase my own bag of traditionally milled flour. All was not lost however as the City Mill Cafe actually sells cakes and bakes made with the flour milled right here on the site. Out back there is this beautiful garden, a peaceful place to stop for a cup of tea and one of those cakes. Next, we headed up St Giles Hill. We'd learnt in the City Museum on day two that the Iron Age Belge tribe was settled on this hill. Once the Romans had taken over, they named their city Venta Bulgarum, or Marketplace of the Belge, and into the medieval times, a market was held on this hill whilst the Roman city went on to become Winchester. And the view is spectacular, definitely worth the mini hike. Then back down the hill into the city. We stopped by at Chisel Rectory, the best preserved still used late medieval building in Winchester, built between 1425 and 1450. After a quick pit stop, we decided to take a stroll on the Itchen River. I spotted a signpost to a viaduct and we ended up just taking on an impromptu unplanned hike along the South Downs National Trail to go and see it. I guess curiosity got the better of us there.
the walk was scenic, peaceful, and the part of the trail that we experienced was actually a fairly easy walk. I can't speak for the rest of the trail as we've never walked any other part of it. And to be honest, at the time we didn't fully appreciate what the South Downs National Trail was. And now after some research, we're pretty keen to get walking along the National Trail Network. I really loved seeing the old railway signals still in situ, a ghost of what this viaduct once was. And the view from afar really shows how impressive this viaduct is. The modern rail line runs nearby and we saw it on our circular route back into town. We stumbled upon the Hospital of St. Cross, a medieval almshouse founded by Henry of Blois, Bishop of Winchester, grandson of William the Conqueror and younger brother to King Stephen. Interestingly, the Bishop of Winchester built not only the original Bishop's Palace of Winchester, but also French and Pond, which we have visited in a previous adventure. 